welcome to another video. In this video I want to show you first my laptop here. It's an Asus Republic of Gaming, really really nice computer. Uh, you can see review on the description below of this laptop and what I have on it and what I pay for it and all this information. So I'm not going into details about this PC right now. But it's a really nice and strong and powerful PC. But I find myself when I'm traveling and I need to edit video on the go. If I go to my home country, if I go to places like hotels and stuff like this and I want to edit video, it's pretty much hard to edit video. Especially after you see up here I bought 49 inch uh, super wide screen. So when you want to edit video after you edit a video on a 49 inch screen super wide, then it's very very hard to go back and edit video on a 15.6 inch. What I've done, I buy an extra screen for this laptop, 16 inch or 15.6, some call it 16 inch, some call it 15.6, so I'm not sure what is right, but it is about the same size as the laptop screen that I have right here. Now the thing is, I had a screen like that before, it's worked with a USB-C, so you don't need a power supply, you just connect to the computer, USB-C, and you can use it. It's working fine, but the problem is that if you want to use it, for example, if you go to a hotel, if you go to a summer house and you want to take your PlayStation or Nintendo Switch, you want to use it to play games on the screen instead. Have a big TV, which you don't have normally in a summer house. Not all of them have a TV. So you take the screen and then you can play, but with the old screen that I bought before, also I can find the link and put it in the description below so you can uh, see uh, the review about it. But today I have a screen which is have USB-C and it also have a micro HDMI so you can connect it to a Nintendo Switch, PlayStation, so you can have it like a screen on the go and it have a sleeve that you can put it inside. So it's pretty nice uh, screen. And the name is Asus Zen. I'm going to open the box that I have right here and I'm going to show it to you. It's much nicer than the one I have before. The same size, but it's much nicer, I, I sure, because you can do more than what you can do with the old one. And I know there is a model which has a touch screen and it's cost more money. You better stay till the review that I'm going to make right now. So this is the box. I'm going to open it now just to look and see what I get inside. I didn't open it before, I got it now. So it have a box like a laptop inside. So let's take it out and see what's inside. Another box. The exact model of this screen, it's Zen screen MB16AH. I know there is another model, as I said before, 15.6 inch, 39.6 centimeter wide screen. So let's open it. This is a picture of how it looks like. So let's open it and see what's inside. So I'm going to move the laptop to the side here, as we don't need it. It's just an example of what I can use the screen for. It's a small box it's come with. So here it's come with a power supply, many adapter. So you can use it. This is USB big to USB C, and this is the power adapter that you can put if you come from many different places in the world. This we don't need, so we can use only this one. And I think if you use the screen with a USB C, so I don't think you need to give it a power. But if you want to use it for the PlayStation, Nintendo Switch, and so on, you need to have a power for it. And maybe you can use the USB on the PlayStation and the Xbox and the Switch to give it a power. So I'm going to do more tests with this screen and I'm going to make an upgrade video and show you a little more uh, in details about the screen and how it's worked with other machine and gaming consoles. Because this is most what you're going to use this screen for gaming and also for edit video of course but let's see. So this is a power adapter and then we open it and right away we see there is a nice sleeve which is not coming with the other screen that I got before. So this is really really nice 
and it's also like a stand that you can have it on so here you have instruction on how to fold it like a origami how to fold it so it's be able to be stand and use we do it in just a second and this is the screen but before we go to the screen i'm going to show you what's more in the box just instruction manual and some energy information and then you have hdmi big hdmi to micro hdmi and then usb-c to a usb-c now they give this adapter here so you can use it usb-c right here to the screen so let's see nothing more here we take the box out of the way and then they have this one which i'm not sure what it is but let's find out soon so here is the screen it's very very thin and nice sensitive as you see really nice i like it i like the design here on the side it have hdmi usb-c power button four-way joystick plus click button so that's nice they make it five and it's also by the way have a uh, speakers inside the screen it's ips auto rotate so if you move the screen this way or this way it will rotate automatically low blue light plus flicker free so this is really nice let's see how we're going to put this sleeve you open both of them and this you put here there is a things that you can open down here and down here so you put it so it's not slide slide out just like that so it's not slide and also you can use the other one which is like that this is how the screen look like i cannot power it because it's not connect to any power uh, power supply but i'm going to do some more test of course i see that there is a screw here that you can actually mount it on a tripod or something like that so this is very nice and if you don't want it you can just use it like that and this is just the button i actually saw this is something that you connect into this one so it can not be fall and it can turn but i find out it's not so you have to make sure that once you put it on it's going to be stops right here because this is how it's prevented from falling that's what i want to show you today a zen screen to connect to your laptop if you want to edit video next to your computer and if not you can use it for gaming if you go to a hotel if you go anywhere it's a very lightweight very small you can put it in a bag together with the laptop open it and then of course you can sit and hold it and watch a movie when your laptop is on a desk not so far from you and use it that way but i'm going to make a following video please stay tuned thank you very much for watching and i will see you on my next video bye bye